Who do you want to be, bro? Bird Colonel? You have King. freedom again. Uh, I'll be Red. That is their name. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's, their first name is their color, and their second name is their actual name. And the third oh, name yeah. is whatever the fuck you want to be. <laughs> what would you okay. like to have? It is a fake noble title. Magma Trekking Boots. <laughs> Business no, Anal Paste. <laughs> Sock Puppet. <laughs> Iron Maiden sleeping bag, shades on fire, campfire <laughs> songbook, pinata pool toy, and Sudoku Rubik cube. I hate that one so much. I hate that one so much. I'm taking it. <laughs> the Sudoku Rubik cube. Wow, you're so smart. No, fun. Smart and fun. It smart is fun. Guess, I guess it is a toy. Yeah. yeah. All right, um, let's do the flaming sunglasses, whatever those were called. That's boldness, I'm sure, and fun? Probably. Let's find out. Boldness Ooh, and charm. charm. Okay. And uh, we'll round this out with the business anal paste. <sighs> it's smart, right? Of course, it's so so <laughs> charming and smart. It's... Ah... <laughs> I hate What's that. What's smart about anal paste? What is paste? Well, it's business. I mean, oh. it's, it's some form of self-care, I guess. <laughs> Magma trekking boots, bootleg Juan. <laughs> oh my god, look at the eyes. <laughs> Under the mouth. Oh, it's like <laughs> Hellfire portable barbecue. Cult ring. Multi-tool. BFF bracelet kit. Swole floaties. Swole floaties. <laughs> Swoldies. Pokemon trading card game and recorder. I'm Pokemans. gonna go for the the swole floaties. Oh, it just says uh, the, Pokemon. What the fuck? It says Pokemans. Pokemon. It should, it should be Pokemans. It is Pokemon. It is says the, Pokemon. But the item is called Pokemon. Oh. No. It's called no, Pokemon. The hmm. I'm gonna go it with says the thing are, that it says exactly it. what you're saying it should be. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're right. <laughs> What's the boots? What's the boots? The magma trekking boots. I like that. Let's go with that. Boldness and smarts, of course. What's the knives and other things? Swiss Army knife? Multi tool. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, I was gonna be a hacker. Smarts and bold. Oh, there we go. I'm good for this. Mommy Dommy here. I no, wait, the other way around. <laughs> wow. Wow. It's a me, a sword of Roar, king of lions, flashback light. What? Wow. Flashback it's light. <laughs> oh, that's how I get it. All right. I was like, hang on a minute. Why was it said weird? Hipster costume. So you can only impersonate one? Tardigrade plushie. Human wool sweater. <laughs> Uh, the smallest violin. Kelly, <laughs> is Scott Snacks. Pokemon trading card game and canned brain. Um, you always get canned brain, brain, don't you? Thematic. We've played once. Ah, yeah, 100%. So always. Always. <laughs> uh, Scott always. Scott Snacks and Tardigrade oh, Plushie. Look how fun I am. And then fucking nostalgia goggles, the flashlight. Creative and bold. Mm. One might say the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners, and summer camp was no different. No one talked about it, but the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. There's all these people here, and it's me you shower in two weeks. We know them. You love them. We gotta reassign some them some voices, because Stephanie's not here. Oh, who's right. Me? Yeah, who is this? This is the first voicing? three player one. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to like split them up yeah. evenly. Okay. Okay, so who has first picks? Wait, I have, well, I have Damien. All right. Uh, I have a Ravi and, and Hex. And Calculator. Calculester. Those were my two. You have Calculester, yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, I had Milo, right? Yeah, you had Milo. Okay. Oh, I'll so I guess. You again. You so the take, only one we uh, need to reassign are Dahlia and um, a goth. Meet, a goth girl, yeah. Yeah. Who do you want? 
Um, I'm already taking Scott, who's relatively hard on my voice sometimes, so I think I might go with the witch. Good, good, because I have no idea how to voice her. <laughs> so I don't go. know I'll what her voice is supposed to be either. Uh, Keith, <laughs> do you know what her voice is supposed to be? Um, girl. <laughs> Girl Sounds voice, good. you know. I'll wait girl. until her first appearance and then she'll say something and I'll listen and try to figure <laughs> it out from there. <laughs> and I'll go for Dahlia. I think I don't think I'm gonna make her sound like a witch. <laughs> <laughs> we both went there. I'm sorry, of witches, course. we stereotype you. Wow. You just lost me a hundred subscribers. Up. Some of them are Patreon supporters. How could you? I need this. It's <laughs> <laughs> ruining Keith's life. Oh, fuck off. I'll donate 1% of my paycheck to you to cover their. What's your favorite <laughs> You're hobby? Rich. You're rich. Raising uh... succulents, very anime workouts, being popular, <laughs> saving the world, crimes, and efficient farming. So I figured it out. I figured it out. Um, Aravi is all about like gamer references, right? So it mm -hmm. should be efficient farming. Oh yeah, farming. That's what it means. Yeah. Got mm. it. Mine is very anime workouts. Okay. Um. Well, we didn't even see him last time, did we? Who? Who? Let's do crimes. Damien? Yeah. Yeah. Damien. He like didn't appear. He said like he like hung yes! out with Scott for a couple of scenes. <laughs> hey, efficient farming is my favorite pastime too. I even wrote this walkthrough guide on how to do it properly. Um, are you sure this walkthrough isn't about actual farming, Ravi? It says step one is to scour for fertile soil. Yeah, I'm sure. That's a super important step in looking for viable monsters to grind. You gotta go where their food source is. And step two is plow the fields with a sturdy backhoe. To dig up the mole people you're gonna be slaying, duh. At least Bird already knows what I'm talking about. We should farm for XP together while we're at camp. Leveling up never takes a break. She's oh fucking boy. psycho. <laughs> and this just became a you problem. Oh man, I love anime workouts. It's so much easier to get a full workout in, in when it's a dramatic training montage. I like taking my time weightlifting as much as the next guy, but sometimes it's easier to just slip into a three minute musical interlude when I do, where I do bicep curls and scowl to J-pop. Scowl to J-pop. Maybe we can do some training montages together while we're at camp. They're supposedly really good for bonding too. I'm still settling in on her voice. It's complicated. <laughs> it is, yeah. Voice acting's hard. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man, crimes are the best hobby ever. <laughs> I'm hoping crimes will be one of those hobbies that evolve into a career if you catch my drift. <laughs> Don't let your <laughs> dreams be memes. I mean, if Al Capone and Richard Nixon could do it, why not me, right? Richard Nixon! <laughs> I mean, fair. so Keith. German. <laughs> Keith. Maybe you and I could get into the crime biz together. It's never too early to start thinking about your future. Apologize for making fun of your accent. Wait, that was we only had two weeks it. left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. <laughs> <laughs> but as I already said, we were young and unafraid and we were ready to start. We are always ready to start. Because I went for the re, the re, the re shard, which right? that would you like? Mm -hmm. It's it's tricky. Oh, I have no go idea what stat she's gonna like, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna take a bold strategy and level up all of them equally and hope I get it right. <laughs> that sounds like a thing that historically works. Wait a minute. <laughs> yes. Okay, so creativity is my weakest one. To scout HQ we go. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Wow. That's creativity, right? 
Yeah. Let's double check real quick. Oh. Okay. It is, but yeah. It's fine. Yeah. That day, all the scouts made a braid. <laughs> make a braid chain as a team building exercise. I read it as braid chan. I'm like, know. hang on a minute. <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck did I just read? You learn all sorts of new ways <laughs> to braid hair. But the person braiding your hair accidentally ties an infinity knot into your head. There's no way to untie it. You can see into infinity. But right before Coach gives you the worst haircut of your life, you see all your friends will die. It's useful in helping you eliminate David Davidson from doomed deer person, the, the doomed deer person from your romantic prospects. Um, yeah, fuck David. No. <laughs> you also watch every Marvel movie that will ever be released. You gain two creativity from witnessing so many plot twists. That's not really what Marvels are known for. <laughs> Afterward, you're very busy making a friendship bracelet, but spooky. Ooh. When you see Ooh. Arabi power walking through your uh, through your location with a look of fierce determination in her eyes. Have you seen any loot around here? <laughs> okay. I slew the dragon of Danger Mountain, found the incredibly rare ruby that somehow grows inside a tree, but only during the eclipse and only if you're leveled up. I tripped a jackalope and got the mouse's glasses back so I could trade him the seed for the bead and put it on the altar under the well after I drained it using the turtle. And I cleaned the Aegean stables and picked up wizard farts dry cleaning. What's <laughs> next? Huh, sounds like Aravi's having quite the day. You ask her why, she, uh, why she's doing all these random tasks. Uh, don't get me started. She's doing side quests, helping everyone fight their enemies or find rare items. But she can't take the five minutes to find me a pizza for my side quest. <laughs> I already told you, ordering a pizza isn't a quest. With a high enough EXP, with a high enough XP reward. <laughs> we'll do that after I do one last real side quest for the day. Want to come along and help me out, bird? Two heads are better than one. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I thought I was your second head. I'm even keeping track of everything like you asked. Unbelievable. Oh, great. Let's see what I have left to. Robert the robber should date Thomas the raccoon landlord? Hex! These are just shipping charts between all my side quest prospects. What's your point? My point is a list of who should fight and who should fuck, and a flowchart of love triangles does nothing for me in terms of figuring out my next move. Did somebody say pizza? Mm -hmm. Well, all those side quests do nothing for me in terms of finding me a pizza. So, I guess we're even. Look, if I have to power through all these side quests, I may as well add some drama through my shipping flow charts, so it plays like some sort of telenovela in my mind. Oh, he's eating a bagel? What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily... <laughs> Luckily for Ravi, evaluating bonkers courses of action based on what stats they'll give you is practically the only thing you do. Looking at Hex's notes, it's immediately clear which side quest will unlock the ultimate goal, making Aravi smile. I don't Aww. know if that's possible. <laughs> no, she does Aww. smile, she just does it in a very mischievous way. Oh, that's true. She smiles <laughs> in the thought of killing. <laughs> yeah. Murder smiles. She's the best. Read the prompts. Oh, help the local mayor to open a TikTok account so that he can bond with his teenage son, and collect ten turnips from the from the town guards who's totally not using them to pleasure himself. <laughs> Jesus, well, I have questions. <laughs> Too bad, but I don't know if I'm gonna uh, receive answers. <laughs> why? My my question is why ten turnips? For ten holes. Oh, that's that no. makes sense. Alright, so my stats are dead even. I have no reason to think this through whatsoever. But Except... I'm going to pretend <laughs> anyway. Uh, so help the local... What if one of these is smart? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Checkmate. Yeah. Oh, that would be smart. Because chess. What? 
You get it? <laughs> no. Anyway. It doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm not accepting this. <laughs> no, so but. The local mayor to open a TikTok account so he can bond with his teenage son is probably creativity. Or so <laughs> I was just thinking it through, but I guess he's going to pick it for me, so thank you. Oh. No, it's fine. Fuck well, it. It's making... fine, because keep last stream. Last stream I you, succeeded. Keep... Who gives a shit? It's fine. Keep it saved really the day sounds with like you're picking it. it did I sound. know. It did sound like it. And it's... I'm sorry, you not. You played with fire. You, Aravi, and Hex head over to the local mayor's office. The mayor sits on his mayor throne, hearing the complaints of his townspeople um, with a distant look on his face. Okay. You know, a mayor throne for mayors. Hmm. Yeah, totally. Like Skyrim. When you enter, he leaps to his feet. Art thou the brave adventurers who can help complete my quest? You need help with TikTok, right? You, me, and everybody, am I right? It's not just tick tricks, says the mayor, walking away from a woman pleading for, for yet lower taxes. I can't seem to understand anything about Danny. Danny! What? But after my wife's tragic uh. death, and now Danny's tragic but inevitable puberty, he's become so <laughs> mu moody and withdrawn, he used to be so- we used to be so close. Now the only thing that seems to make him smile are those silly internet memes and gifs. It just- I just uh, want to be able to make him smile, too. First lesson, it's pronounced memes and gif with a hard <laughs> G. Here for it. I'm with the mayor on this one. Jif is pronounced like jif all the way. Shut mm -hmm. up, Hex. Hex, you truly are a curse. Yeah, that's the premise. I hate- I hate you, bird. I hate that you said Jif is pronounced like Jif instead of Gif is pronounced like Jif. Because you should. Oh, you can hate me for lots of different reasons. <laughs> no, but that one is the only reason. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I would be happy to help you become more internet literate to bond with your son. Colonel's like, this was the one test in our relationship and you failed. <laughs> you failed. Um, finally. <laughs> I'm trying. Mr. Mayor, <laughs> says a panicked citizen running in. The bandits are back in there. Not now, the mayor snaps. I'm busy with a side quest to make Tuk Tuk shows to reconnect with my son. Uh. Second lesson, you don't make shows on TikTok. In fact, you don't make anything. Chances are, if you start making videos, you'll just embarrass him more. Then you are saying I am doomed and that... You give up the quest? The mayor cries. Dude, no. I'm saying it doesn't even need to be that hard. Don't make videos. Just watch them. Ask Danny what his favorite TikToks are, and then pretend to laugh at all of them, no matter how stupid, repetitive, or derivative they are. Uh, you need to get your anger under management. Mm -mm. No, I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm here to roleplay, not receive life lessons. Anyway, and then maybe ask Danny other things, like how he's feeling, or if he wants to talk about any of those things he's been going through. I am often quite bad at broaching subjects of any seriousness, says the mayor, slamming the door on a villager holding an ailing chicken. Maybe I do need to communicate more. Communication is key in any relationship. Go watch shitty videos of your son. And then maybe get back to focusing on the needs of your town to people. I will do just that, the mayor says. Citizens, I will hear each and every one of your complaints right after I find out what flossing is. He exits oh. triumphantly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow, Ravi, that was surprisingly sensitive and empathetic of you. It seems like you really... There's a ding, and a box appears labeled TikTok on the town clock. Quest completed. Mayor's reward. Joke's on you, I'm just loot hungry. Boots of stealth plus one, 900 GP, a sapphire, uh, oh. No, just a piece of paper. Not important. And 2,000 XP! A Robbie for the win. No sensitivity here! Her eyes. 
two thousands like nothing crazy. in almost every game. <laughs> Except for D and D, yeah, mm -hmm. you get level twenty instantly. <laughs> yeah, but before she slipped the paper lovingly into her pocket, you saw that it was a picture of the mayor and his teenage son smiling together. You gained two smarts and one boldness. Yeah, indeed. Okay, yeah. my oh, look at that boldness! Give me all the boldness. I don't, I don't think I, I don't think I would need anything else. You went robot. Yeah, yeah I, I couldn't oh, hear I... any of that end part. <laughs> I was just repeating myself. I want boldness. Give me all the boldness. Okay. Yeah. And boldness. boldness is in the scary house. Scary house. Skulls. That day you explore the haunted manor's basement only to find it has a sub-basement. The sub-basement is full of haunted chairs and a staircase and a sub to a sub-sub-basement. The sub-sub-basement is haunted by oh, is a haunted wine cellar. And I'm also just now noticing the problem of both of us trying to date the demons at the same time. The sub 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 basement oh, is a haunted oh, nightclub no. for ghosts who don't like wine. They serve haunted spirits. <laughs> We're both fighting over one stat pre predominantly. <laughs> the sub basement up the up to the tenth power is a subway. You eat a, flo a foot long Reuben and continue nice. your travels. I see what you did there. You eventually check a walkthrough to find out the Haunted Manor can spawn infinite amount of sub-basements. You only make it as far as the 89th level, which is a dom-sub leather room. You gain two boldness huh. from the horrors you witness there. <laughs> Later, you happen upon Dahlia washing a car in the middle of camp. Why? How did she even get a car in the middle of camp? Ah, hello, Colonel! I can see your face, the question that, no, I can see on your face, the question that is burning in your heart. What does washing your car have to do with working out? Um, not quite, but sure. That's a good place to start as any. Well, just because I'm on a camping retreat doesn't mean I can go soft. That's what my enemy would want from me. I must find alternative ways of maintaining my rippling abs. Ooh. And I watched a documentary recently that taught me that the best workouts are often hidden in menial tasks, such as washing a car. Wax on, wax off, you know? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think the car washing is doing much for my muscles, or even for the car. I'm pretty sure it's dirtier than I, when I found it. That's probably because on closer inspection, Dolly is washing the car with 50 pound weights. Presumably, washcloths aren't heavy enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh Perhaps this isn't the proper workout for me? Everyone knows the best workout the workout adapts to the individual's body and what best exercises I, their muscle. Can you repeat <laughs> that line? <laughs> mm. I, I don't know what's happening. It's fine now. Just run it again. It did the mm, thing. Perhaps, perhaps this isn't the proper workout for me. Everyone knows the best workout adapts to each individual's body and what best exercises their muscles. I probably just need to find a different menial task that will give me a full body workout. Colonel, you seem like an expert in menial tasks. What sort of rote activity could I do to reach maximum power? Achieve the perfect balance of a checkbook. The more menial a task, apparently, is, the more it will work, it work you out. So you must subject yourself to the most menial of all tasks. Consciously blinking. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, th I am afraid that the second one is creativity. So I'll go with the first one. So smart. Yay! Oh, intriguing. Your idea has potential to achieve balance of body, mind, and finances. It will be a workout the likes of which I have never undertaken. Dahlia borrows a checkbook from Coach, the only person at camp old enough to have one, and starts doing some calculations. Sweat begins to pour profusely from her forehead. Every one of her muscles is straining in concentration. Math, you are a worthy adversary. So many numbers, deposits... <laughs> Withdrawals. This is uh, but I am Dahlia Aquino, and I will not be bested by any rival. Numbers meet knuckles. Oh, no. Now she is beating the checkbook like it owes her money. 
you can only look on with a mixture of horror and slight amusement. Nah, no, no, I must compose myself. I need to keep my cool, find my center, like the documentary taught me. Now she's meditating. This is becoming quite the emotional journey. Yes, now I see. The numbers are quite, are meaningless. It's, it's all about the balance of the mind. <laughs> but once you look past the difficult adding and subtracting in decimals, you see that all that matters is, is your zen. You're pretty sure you know some accountants who would disagree. But Dahlia has clearly made up her mind. Eyes closed, she now she's now writing a series of meaningless numbers across Coach's checkbook. By the time she is done, the checkbook is just a mess of numbers and silly doodles of her beating up chakras. Coach's finances are in shambles, but Dahlia seems happy, and you're pretty sure she's got like 10% stronger from punching the shit out of the checkbook. <laughs> this has been horrible financial advice, but great workout advice. This totally qualifies you to be a Wall Street trader. You gain two charm and one fun. Is there a place where I, can I mean, there are literally nothing? no qualifications if Wall Street does <laughs> tell us anything. My god. <laughs> Smarts, fun, and charm. Uh, I guess he likes, gaming, he's probably probably likes fun. He's probably likes fun. Yeah. That day at the lake, you start a super soaker fight that turns into an all-out war. The enemy team manages to capture the northern section of the lake, but you take a few of their members hostage and learn their empire's weakness. You lead a full-scale infiltration. Thousands of soldiers get totally soaked. It's a bloodbath. After several hours, the enemy team surrenders and you gain two fun from the peace treaty. Yay. You're rubbing tanning oil on Joy and motor oil on Calculester when your horny activity is interrupted by Damien screaming at a sandcastle again. Fight me, dude! What do you mean you don't have any flaming hot Cheetos? I am your king, and I demand Cheetos as tribute. Uh, that's me, right? Yeah. Right. Damien, please. Unlike myself, most inanimate objects are incapable of understanding or producing speech. I am not talking to the sandcastle. I'm talking to my subjects inside the sandcastle. The world is at risk again. There are people inside the sandcastle? And they're your subjects? Come on, Cal. This is an emergency. Joe and Calculester dash over to Damien's sandcastle. You follow behind, spilling oil everywhere. Is this a camping? Fascinating. This sandcastle truly is swarming with tiny humanoids. Where did you acquire this civilization? <laughs> These are the citizens of Smalltopia. I found them in the yard of Spooky High and graciously agreed to be their king. He's a despot, cries one of the tiny people. We were a representative of democracy before he came along. How is Smalltopia I knew back? they... <laughs> yeah. I knew they would die without my enlightened leadership over the summer, so I, I packed them all in a lunchbox and brought them to camp. Where I built them this castle. It was a massacre, cries another of the tiny people. That lunchbox didn't even have air holes. Duh. Excuse me. He's dead. Um. I killed him. <laughs> Deadly <laughs> diseases got in the I'm air just, holes. <laughs> I'm just lightly dying from the voice being angry. <clears throat> I'm drinking a little bit of water. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Duh! If air can get in, so can deadly diseases. I was protecting you. Mm-hmm. We used to have hospitals and universities, despairs another tiny person. But now all we have is a mountain of sand and broken dreams. Our society is ruined. Uh, these guys have been such a bummer since I brought them here. It's like they're not even grateful. I've tried everything. Threatening them, paying a Ravi to threaten them, threatening them to pay a Ravi to threaten them again. Hmm. What about, I don't know, digging them an irrigation system? or supplying them with microcomputers and learning software? Oh, good idea. Then I can threaten to take those things away if they don't stop moving. That, that'll cheer them up. 
Uh, that was sad. Uh, you know what? How about Cal and I focus on improving the Smalltopian infrastructure? You can help by... by... Uh... This is delicate. If Damien is not allowed to help, he will definitely go apeshit. But most of his ways of helping involve going apeshit anyway. Quick, give him non-destructive ways to improve Smalltopia. Help him find some beach-appropriate decoration for the castle. He can't fuck that up, right? Introduce some hermit crabs. They can be Smalltopia's wacky but lovable neighbors. That can't go well. Ooh, that can't go well. Uh, this is either- It's charmed, the second one, right? I don't know, is it fun? <laughs> I think you're looking How did I get- fun. Oh my god, my fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you Double got that digital. idea. You're, you're the poly. Yeah, I need to win that game so I can steal boldness from Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's gonna happen. This seems like fun. Yay. Yay! Hell yeah! Hermit crabs are badass! They're nature's crabs! I- Uh, okay. <laughs> All crabs are nature's crabs, Damien. So you're saying I'm right? <laughs> my lead. All right, let's wrangle some crabs. No, wait. These crabs will overrun the city and slaughter the defenseless small topians. I love that her straps are a pentagram. Oh, oh I, I didn't, didn't notice that. Yes. <laughs> hey, hey, lady. I like says it. a small voice. <laughs> Where do you get off calling us defenseless? That's pretty patronizing. She is merely looking out for your safety, tiny people. The crabs are much larger than you, you see. And... Oh, what? You think we're too dumb to handle a giant enemy crab? Those things have huge weak points. We'll be fine. <laughs> okay, so what I'm hearing is that I should get a bucket of crabs and dump them on Smalltopia. Well, now, I wouldn't recommend dumping them on... Says the tiny voice, but it's too late. Damien's already back with a bucket of crabs and ready to dump. <laughs> oh no, I cannot bear to watch this army of crabs descend upon the small topians in an orgy of... Pe 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 peaceful co existence? Such a twist. Wow, it looks like crabs and small topians are natural allies. They're getting along great. The small topians are teaching the crabs critical thinking in team sports. Whoa. That's <laughs> and the crabs And the crab sounds like my washing machine. And the crabs are oh, teaching yeah. the small topians advanced surgical techniques that they have never been able to perform themselves because of their lack of fingers. The Contrary crabs, to everyone's small expectations, topians. the small topians and new citizens of Crabu Dhabi. Oh, wow. Live together in peace and harmony. Everyone is happy except for Damien, who thinks peace is dumb. Then one of the crabs pinches him in the eyeball, and he thinks that's pretty oh. metal. Now everybody is happy. Two boldness and one charm. <laughs> Yay! Wow, I got boldness sold. because Damien was unhappy until somebody <laughs> pinched his eyeball. Yeah. Uh, Before we do this somebody. challenge, uh, logistics question. Colonel, do you want me to do Dahlia? Is it too hard in your voice to do both Damien and Dahlia? Uh, I think, uh, no, I think I'm okay with, with Molly. the Molly. You okay? Alright, because yeah. I have Milo and I'm not thinking he's going to show up tonight, so... Wait, Okay, but... it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, All right, just I'll, let me know I'll if keep you that in mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just need a little bit of water. Because I'm, I was, I'm not drunk. I did, definitely didn't drink alcohol before the stream, so... You Coconut know, cookie. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say, Keith, for your food? Coconut <laughs> cookie. Ooh. I um, want crab. Uh, I can't believe it's not coconut. That's not a food. That's not even close to. That's just sawdust. Fine, <laughs> fine. I'll pick something real then. <laughs> sawdust <laughs> <laughs> from a coconut sawdust. tree. Sawdust. No, <laughs> from a coconut hey. tree. I bet it's. I bet it tastes like some coconut. Tree. Hey, this food for rabbits accounts. Uh, well. This is the best you're getting out of me, so we're moving on with hay. Okay. Your hay? Hey. The Colonel, did the Colonel say crabs? Crabs. Crabs, coconut, Not... cookies, and hay. 
I suppose crab hey. would be better. Player orders to say sorry based on which food is most likely to be actually sentient and plotting humanity's demise. I uh, am victorious. Crabs, I guess. <laughs> I am victorious. Because they have a brain. Because they're animals. They are animals, yeah. at least. <laughs> yeah. They're, at, at, yep. They're just actually alive. Um, I would say hey wins over because of crop goods. circles. I have no clue. Any argument is going to be convincing. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. The important thing uh, is I already lost a kernel. We could do random yeah. for all I care. We still don't know if that we works. We don't know how that works. Yeah. And whoever has uh, already got their sl their slot selected never wants to test it. <laughs> that's true. Uh, okay, so let's go for create team. Let's go for fun <clears throat> and give create a, a little fun. bit of boldness for keep. That's the lake. Or, or mm -hmm. you don't really need to mm -hmm. win against me. All you need to do I is, is, or... is uh, yeah, it's like all you need to do is make a mistake like last week. Yeah, you oh, just, just need. To... Oops! Oh, wow. I sent you to Scout <laughs> HQ. <laughs> <laughs> just trade off boldness and fun. That worked out I'm so sure well. The same both of them. Somehow. Yeah, I can't it was incredible. Your mouse slip gave me the win. I can't it was amazing. It. <laughs> it was amazing. That was absurd. It made all the stars align. The uh, yeah. yeah. The thing is, I I doubt Dolly and Damon want the same stats. So does Do is Dolly a fun at all? She might be. Charmed. I have no idea. Oh no. I'm, I I honestly have no idea. A little bit of smarts, a little bit of. I have no idea. I don't understand her as much. As yeah, the other no, I'm, I'm way less. I have way less idea what anyone's stats are in this game than I did last game, where it seemed right? like they were designed. Yeah, that's why I'm going raw obvious. neutral. I'm just raw neutral. Raw neutral. If I'm if I'm not bad at anything, then I can't lose. Let's hope so. All right, you doing fun? Mm-hmm. That day you go diving to see what's at the bottom of the lake. You find a comic book. You pick it up, but it's so interesting you stay there reading it. This is bad since you cannot hold your breath indefinitely. Can't you though? Damn. Also, how's the comic book doing down there? <laughs> it's laminated. <laughs> You it's rush funny. the surface, but before getting there, you drown a little, and some lake water gets in your mouth. Gross. You dr oh. Oops, I drowned a little. <laughs> you swallow some <laughs> weird stuff that was in the lake water, like a whole jellyfish and... Too fun? What was that doing there? <laughs> <laughs> You're minding your own business, smelling people, when Dahlia grabs you and drags you to the lake shore. This game just has the most abs. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of abs. That's a lot of abs. <laughs> this game just has the most abs. I swear. There you are, Colonel. Once more, I need your help achieving the best summer ever. Critique my rock skipping technique. Dahlia skips a rock straight upward. It disappears into space. Moments later, you notice a faint glimmer in the sky. It's not Dahlia's rock, or the satellite Dahlia's rock destroyed. It's a meteor. It crashes into the woods on the far side of the lake, turning them into a giant bonfire. Yes! Ultimate campfire! Quick, tell me some campfire stories, but very loudly. You're about to tell her that one of the the one about the horny summer campers who finally boinked when you're distracted by a glowing figure approaching you across the lake. Greetings, says the figure in a warm, booming voice. It is I, Kalor, Herald of Summer. We're doing the same plotline from last he's, time. And, and also the same. exact same thing with the voices. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to choose the other option here. Kalor, it is an honor to meet you. Can you critique my rock skipping technique? You're not going to actively try to flee from Dahlia for the entire campaign? <laughs> Flee is a strong choice of word. You you went to other people, at, like yeah. in a but running not away fear. motion. <laughs> <laughs> in a running away motion. I am here at a much more important errand, says the spirit. Your passion for achieving the ideal summer has moved me. I have a quest for you. I have grown weak as of late due to lack of warship. The heralds of the other seasons mock me and drain my power. I need you to... Destroy them! I will do it, noble Hotman! I was going to say talk to them and ask them to stop being such jerks, but honestly that sounds great if you're up for it. The first herald you must defeat is Vern, 
Herald of Spring. He's in Florida. Good luck. <laughs> I make my own luck out of blood. Blood. Moments later, you're face to face with Vern. Turns out traveling to Florida is easy. You just mix a can of Bud Light with cough syrup and you're there. <laughs> What's up, bros? Says Vern, while shotgunning a hard seltzer and thinking about boobs. Here to defeat me yes. on behalf of that nerd, Kalor. Yes, and also to get 10. A good 10 is critical for the best summer ever. Ha! <laughs> Says Vern. Doing three keg stands at once, by the grace of his divine might. Suck my Easter eggs, losers. No one can defeat me, he says. I'm gonna live forever. Spring break, woo! You just, you, you'll just see about that. It, it so happens that you know the perfect technique for defeating the Herald of Spring. Remind him that spring is just a lame opening act for summer allergies. So we went for allergies the first time around, and I think that was creativity or smarts uh, so I'm gonna remind him that spring is just a lame opening for oh that's charm isn't it mm -hmm. I don't know I don't even remember what it was know. last time I remember being it's confused just lame, and lame is a fun word so I just remember being <laughs> confused last time but I don't remember why because I did you pick allergies I'm not gonna tell because I, think I don't so. remember. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> I was gonna say why. You, <laughs> at one point, you were you were cramming peanuts into his mouth. I'll never tell. <laughs> so let's go with the first one because uh, because I don't have a choice. Not so smart. Oh. Well, we instantly failed this again. <laughs> you wish, bro. Says Vern, sharing a blunt with a baby lion. His buddy, his buddy rented unethically. If anything, spring's the new summer. What? Impossible! Summer is the new summer! Maybe last decade, says Vern, but that was before global warming became a tragic and unstoppable certainty. Mm. Rising temperatures worldwide will make spring as hot as summer used to be, and then some. Also more hurricanes. But if spring replaces summer, what will summer become? I don't know, man. That's not on me. I heard they were thinking of calling it the Great Dying or something, like though. <laughs> the Great Dying? I love dying. This sounds like a fantastic um, development. What? No, people are gonna starve to death. Disease will run rampant. You'll hate it. Good. I have been searching for adversity to temper my unbreakable warrior spirit. <laughs> She's just like, Dark Souls may do it. All of the world. <laughs> so far, it sounds like Colonel was right about Spring. What else have you got? Well, says Vern, uh, spring is the most popular movement of Vivaldi's Four Seasons. It's true. Are you, like, like are the you hotel. serious? This, this uh, changes everything. It does? Of course. The, rel the relative popularity of classical pieces is the only metric I accept for determining a season's worth. Forgive me, Master Vern. I hereby pledge myself to the service of spring. Ah, uh, cool, says Vern. Get me a beer? Dahlia rushes off to do his bidding. If she's going to be spending all her time helping out this divine douchebag, you doubt she'll have time for summer romance. You lose two charm and one fun, and one Dahlia. A boom. Aww. Nah, it's fine. The we, we failed last time, and we we went to watch things anyway. No, we <laughs> you went to watch I failed. things. I failed things oh. badly. Dang it. Yeah, you're the uh, only person that went to, to uh, camp last time, or the shower, out mm -hmm. of anyone. Uh, 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 charm. Charm is the place with the stuff. Yeah. It's a typical bloody camp dome battle royale. While you're hiding to catch a breath, a severed fist flies through the air and lands in your lap. You unfold it. The fist was holding a tarnished silver locket containing the photo of a loved one, likely waiting for the hand's former owner to return home safely. You toss that behind you and also find a crumpled up coupon redeemable for two charm at Pedro's Pastrami Paradise. Rad. Thanks, mysterious hand. Yeah, what? It has nothing to do with the hand. <laughs> After that, you head to the lake with Hex and Aravi. Aravi's testing out her new Zora armor. And you're helping Hex chug as, mu as much la la lake water as possible. What? 
This is awesome, you guys. I can breathe underwater and do a whirlpool attack. Gods, I'm so glad I spent 200 million rupees on these greaves. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Hate it. laughs> Sorry, my mouth was full of lake water. I was trying to say, fuck yeah, this is funny shit. Lake time with bird, fucking classic vibes. Suddenly, y'all hear a weird noise calling out to you from across the lake. Hail, adventurers, heed my message. You look over to see a messenger emerging from the trees. He's holding a leather scroll and he looks super stressed out. Huh? That messenger looks familiar. I swear, I recognize him. Maybe someone I cursed in the past? Adventurer Aravi, Adventurer Hex, Adventurer Bird. I have searched many moons for many moons to deliver. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got an important message for us, life or death, blah, blah, blah. We know the deal. Give me the scroll, noob. It's the mailman from Twilight Princess that just runs at you at random. <laughs> Messenger gives Aravi the scroll, but right afterwards he collapses on the ground. He appears to be dead. Should have had a stamina potion, am I right? Anyway, looks like the scroll says, venture to the northern wood. <laughs> Bring this scroll. The ring of sustenance awaits you. <laughs> you guys, this scroll has main quest energy. It's kind of weird, but I bet this is an invitation to a dope ass dungeon. Oh, I can smell the loot already. Oh. Holy shit. Hold everything. I just realized why I recognize this messenger. He's an actor. I saw him on TV in a commercial for that new bagel place that's opening up around here. Bagels. Then, if he's an actor, that can only mean the Ring of Sustenance is the new bagel store. Aravi, that scroll is a dope ass guerrilla marketing advertisement. Yes. Uh, no. It's definitely a dungeon invite. Not everything is about bagels, Hex. And the Ring of Sustenance is a super dumb name for a bagel store. <laughs> really Not everything is about motherfucking dungeons. Little Miss Dun Dungeon Liker. <laughs> you know what, Hex? I do like dungeons, and I'm not ashamed of it, you green fart cloud. Huff my shorts, you loser ass, cindere ass, RPG ass, nasty smelling ass, full inventory ass, Koopa Troopa looking ass, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my, that's one of the best lines I've that ever. Too much ass. That sentence. That's incredible. Oh, hell yeah. You've been waiting for Hex and Aravi to have an argument so you could support one of them in a heroic gesture of romantic friendship. Pick a side. Wait. No, no. Hex is right. I just found that Messenger's IMDB page. <laughs> His name is Todd Zombiehead. He's defo an actor. Aravi's right. There's no actor, and I can prove it by hurling his corpse into the sea. What? Uh -huh. I don't get it. Are you gonna uh, date Hex? The fuck? Is that how this. Uh -huh. Can you even pick? <laughs> 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 is it meant as a, a choice between them or a stat check? <laughs> I don't know. Um, Have fun. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What? I I guess Hex is like a secret character now. Wait. I guess I might be on a secret ending, right? Because they said something like this has main quest energy. Nah. I think okay. That's just throwaway name. Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't. I wouldn't read too much into that. That sounds like something they would say all the time. <laughs> okay. Fair. Good point. Um, well, I mean, I'm going to side with Aravi. I don't know what stats associated with it, but, you know, yeah. So, Aravi's right. There's no actor, and I can prove it by hurling his corpse into the sea. So bold. Uh, Bird, I think that messenger is an actor, so I don't think he's actually dead. 
probably wouldn't be super chill to throw. Uh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, bird! Let's hurl this corpse into the sea! Arabi's very psyched about your corpse hurling idea. You three drag the corpse to a nearby cliff overlooking the majestic stormy ocean. Damn! Those are some big ass waves! Kinda makes you think about how small and insignificant we all are. Am I right? Psych! That ocean could eat my ass. Shut up, Hex. Okay, bird, time to hurl. I'm thinking we do a classic dead or alive test. We toss it in, and if it floats, it was a corpse. And if it doesn't float, then uh, we get all the experience points for killing the messenger. It's a win-win. He has problems. <laughs> I like it. God, I can't believe I have to put down my pizza roll blasted goldfish <laughs> and be the fucking voice of reason here. I hate being the voice of reason. It's not a vibe. But holy shit, this makes zero sense, Aravi. We've got totally distracted. Even if you prove this guy is actually dead, that doesn't help us figure out the scrolls. Oh my god, just let me throw this corpse into the ocean! I know it doesn't help us that much, but I really want to toss him. I haven't thrown a body off of a cliff in like two whole months! You know what? I do it. <laughs> Yeet that man back to Mother Ocean. Yeah! Okay, bird, here we go! Three, two, one, hurl! You throw the messenger into the ocean. His body hits the water and makes a huge splash. You all have a big laugh about it and high-five each other. See? This totally proves my point. Throwing corpses into the sea kicks ass. What? I still think I'm right about the bagel shop, but... Oh, wait, he's chewing a bagel, so... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll admit, that splash was dope. Now... Let's blindly follow this scroll to the northern woods. Let's Hooray. Fuck yeah. And you're coming too, bird. Hey, I'm officially making you a third party member for this quest. I know you're only level three, but don't worry. I'll keep you safe while we're in the dungeon. Just stay close to me, okay? Is there a place where I can just, just keep close to me and my, my blushing face? Mm. Not, like I, not like I like you or anything. Some <laughs> I have Just a decent amount of gold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am afraid of this flashlight and don't know how it works. You go into the haunted manor with a group, only to immediately split up once you get inside, as is customary. You quickly get lost and have no cell signal, but in a stroke of genius, you follow the science to the haunted manor's lost and lost and found, and uh, to wait for your friends to pick you up. You find all sorts of cool lost knickknacks while you wait. Some bloody gloves, a haunted iPod, it only plays Thriller by Michael Jackson. A totally normal Furby that still manages to be the creepiest thing in there. <laughs> At the bottom of the box, you find two boldness. Yoink, who in their right mind would throw that away? Later, Damien oh, hey. and Milo, or Milo, are helping you make the most fire Insta post of all time. Damien did your hair and makeup, and Milo's posed, posed you elegantly in front of like 80 ghosts. This shot is everything. The light is refactoring, refracting through the ghosts exactly as I planned. Now, Keith, just try and look like you care a little less, okay? Now that I've fixed him up, he looks kind of good. Guess you're not such a dog after all, Keith. Wow. Wow. Suddenly, the door bursts open. You see a tall, lanky, masked man. He's got a knife and the gleam of murder in his eyes. Uh-oh. Fuck. <laughs> Can't really sound like it all. Hey, teens, prepare to die, because I'm going to kill you. Yeah, you can run if you want, but it makes it way less fun for me if you do that. That's a good one. Chuck. Ah! Oh, no, it's the... the... Wait, what the fuck is your name again? <laughs> yes, I'm realizing that I don't remember his name either. Can you enlighten us before you murder us, darling? 
You guys, what the hell? It's me, Jerry. The serial killer Jerry that stabs horny teens in the weird old house. That Jerry, remember? Go home, loser. <laughs> you don't Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Dude, your name is Jerry? That's the least intimidating serial killer name I've ever heard. What are you gonna do, poke me with a toothpick? Damien's right. Jerry is a depressing name. It doesn't provoke fear. It's not memorable. Jerry, dear, your brand is a key pillar of your whole serial killer brand. God, I suck. Okay, this. time out from killing. Are you serious? Because I have been, I have kind of noticed that people don't always take me seriously when I kill them. Maybe they're just not scared of my name. Fucking duh, dude. Nobody was. Scared of Richard, the guy who stabs nurses and loves crepes. Or how do you pronounce that? <laughs> crepes. 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 Is it crepes? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, until he's changed his name to Trash Bag Dorso in Baylor! Exclamation <laughs> mark. Don't let Damien worry you, Jerry. We'll help you rebrand. It's what we do. How about this? The Silken Handed San Antonio Slayer. Classy, no? Blood. Whoa, that's an awesome serial killer name. Only problem is, I'm not from Texas, but if we went uh, with something super classic like Butcher of Baby Blood? <laughs> nah, you killed more teens than babies, right? And you're super weird about sex stuff? Wait, holy shit, I just figured it out. How about the Campsite Ball Ripper? Uh. <laughs> Damien, that's absolutely inspired. But I just checked, and apparently somebody already has the handle at Campsite Ball Ripper. Guess that name's taken? No. Ugh. I fucking hate the Campsite Ball Ripper. That guy's my number one serial killer rival. He's always ripping everyone's balls off before I can stab them. Ah. Fuck, this is so hard. Should I just quit, you guys? Oh no, Jerry is so discouraged he's ready to quit serial killing. You hate seeing people give up on their dreams. Come up with the perfect serial killer name for Jerry. Jerry the alleged murderer. Wow. <laughs> Renowned Australian symbol symbolist murderer Gustav Klimt. Huh? Nice. It's a. <laughs> I have no idea. That sounds way too smart, so it's joke. definitely wrong. Yeah. yeah. Fuck, that one was smart. Oh my god. Who was that smart? What? Wow. The annoying what? reference wasn't smarts? Yeah. Wow. I quit. <laughs> this game fucks you. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Jerry, the alleged murderer. Seems like a little confusing, but I guess it's the best nickname we've come up with so far. I guess I'll just give it a try. His test at his new serial killer nickname, Je Jerry the Alleged Murderer, goes on a murdering spree, which is technically defined as two or more killings without a cooling off period. <laughs> a few days later, Jerry finds you, Milo, and Damien. He looks pissed as hell, and extra murdery. He always looks some murdery, but this is way worse than normal. Come on. Hey, you fucking kids. Were you three trying to make me look like an idiot? I never try, dear. Yeah, we didn't do shit to shit for the shit. What are you so worked up about, Jer Bear? Jer Bear? <laughs> Jerry turns on the TV where two newscasters are giving a daily serial killer murder recap. Today, a man was arrested for stabbing two senior citizens in the eyes, one knife per eye, for a total of four knives. The police have arrested the alleged murderer. See? That lame-ass murderer is stealing my nickname. I told all my serial killer friends that I'm going to be the going by the alleged murderer, and now they're all using it. It's bullshit. Next, a man took the stand today for killing all of the delegates of the United Nations one by one. The alleged murderer refused to give a name. Interpol is still investigating. What? Fuck. Another brand-stealing murder. I hate these fucking copycats. Ugh. Why didn't I have the foresight to file a trademark for being a murderer? Oh my, I never thought I would say this, but Jerry the alleged murderer makes an insightful point about branding. A brand name should distinguish you from all of your competition. Oh, this is exactly what happened to poor Kleenex. It's why they were crushed by Puffs Plus Lotion. You're no 
survivalist. At least there's one thing that we can all agree on. This whole thing is Keith's fault. He came up with this dumbass nickname, remember? Dead, dead. Oh. Keith, you've ruined my career, and I'm gonna deal with my vote motion by murdering you. There's there's not gonna be anything alleged about it either. Damn. Then he stabs you really bad and leaves you for dead. You wish you were dead, but instead of dying, you just lose two charm and one boldness. They some, I probably need those. All right. Uh -huh. Everybody chooses an object. Is it my failure? <laughs> Uh, that doesn't we're count. We're off to a bad start again. Mm -hmm. I, a, a heavy machine gun. Heavy machine uh. gun. <laughs> Shotgun. <Shorty. laughs> a CD jewel case. Ooh, a fancy. Uh, no, no, that crappy little... I don't know what they're called. The a single tea bag of chai. Uh -oh. Wait, a, a tea bag what? Of chai. Oh. Mm. I okay. Eat, yeah. Player orders based on which object you'd least likely to roast over a campfire and eat, even, and eat even in a desperate scenario. I win. I think you win again, <laughs> Colonel, because oh, the gun is useful gun. for killing food. You wouldn't roast that gun <laughs> or eat it. You wouldn't roast yeah. a car. <laughs> That's such a dumb thing. Yeah. The original so Colonel one, Bird yeah. Keith. Was, was was again? Edible. Uh, a CD jewel case. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Damn. This is L after L. Those are really bad. I'm going for boldness this time as well. Wait, this is different. No, this is just a uh, pick your lover. Ah, okay, so uh, oh, oh or... no. Yeah, I'm going for. I'm going there. Yeah. Uh. Later, you're chilling by the fire when you hear a terrifying, blood-curdling, yet also slightly adorable sound. Dahlia and Aravi's hysterical giggling. Loser. <laughs> oh, it's Colonel. I guess you can hang out with us if you want. We're just finishing up our weekly girl talk session. Girls yeah, girl talk rules, and Aravi and I have so much to talk about. The next topic on our girl talk agenda is healthy eating habits. <laughs> Yeah, good topic. Usually I have a small breakfast, but I think the most important meal of the day is the one you consume right before the dungeon mini-boss fight. And obviously, you should only be eating top-notch ingredients. If you start consuming B-tier meals, you'll miss out on lots of potential stat buffs. Cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> ah, you're the one missing out, Aravi. Who cares if Doritos and dear tier items that technically lower your offense stats? They're a cheesy mouth explosion. It's worth it. <laughs> that reminds me of a really awesome dinner I had a few days ago. Did you guys know that lit grenades are actually really high in fiber? <laughs> if you have a demon metabolism like me, you gotta make sure to get plenty of sol 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 soluble, 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 and insoluble. Right. Insoluble, of course. Metals in your diet. That's why I eat a lot of airplanes. Uh. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. For me, I gotta keep a healthy balance between eating full meals and just regenerating using a flask potion. Potions are convenient, but you can't overdo it. For real. It's like me and battle wine. Battle wine? <laughs> I love to have two or three casks after a victory, but if I drink too many, I'll I'll be slightly less bright blue the next day. Huh? Dahlia, what do you think about that whole 30 thing? You know, the one where you're supposed to kill a whole 30 enemies every day for exercise? Aww. I get why people do it, but it takes a bit of the fun out of murdering if you've got to do all that enemy counting all the time. You two are such food jocks. What about you, Colonel? If you're going to girl talk with us, you've got to give us the tea on your healthy eating skills. The tea. Quick, mm -hmm. express an opinion on healthy eating habits. Impress one of these lethal hotties. Seize the moment, Colonel. Honestly, my typical meal is eating 34 uncooked potatoes in the middle of a boss battle. I eat my enemies for breakfast and for dinner, and sometimes as a snack around 2 a.m. All in caps. Let's go with that. Yep. Let's seize the Fuck yeah! Oh no. My, my throat. <laughs> <laughs> you want to trade? 
<laughs> Would you mind? Sure, sure. Okay. Fuck you. yeah! That's hardcore, Colonel! Straight up devouring your enemies is a total boss bitch move. Uh. Also, most of my enemies are super high in protein, so that really helps me build muscle mass. Uh, Dahlia, I heard the way you murder your enemies can really alter the flavor. Is that bullshit? No, it's super true. I find that enemies taste way grassier and gamier if they perish in total fear. If they die valiantly, their meat is a little tougher, but so much rich flavor. You can really taste the bravery, you know? This is impossible. Whoa, good to know. I learned so much from girl talk. Dahlia, do you tell your enemies that you're going to eat them? Or do you consider that bad manners? I've heard it both ways. <laughs> well, I used to try and keep it on the DL, but one time I was fighting the head general of this opposing demon army, and he noticed that I had a bib on. Ha! It was so funny. He was like, Warrior General Dalia Aquino, what is the meaning of your bib and the silverware that you have attached to your bib? And so I was just like, dude, I'm obviously going to eat you once I defeat you. And he got all freaked out and stuff. What a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia, that's hilarious. He was scared of getting eaten. What a coward. No one is ready for Dahlia. I know. It was so funny. I just had to mess with him. So the whole battle, I kept sprinkling him with pepper and salt. <laughs> he was so nervous that he didn't land a single blow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wow! So eating your enemies isn't just nutritious, it's also a viable psychological battle tactic. But I bore you, bro. <laughs> so true. Uh, it's so good to reminisce upon all the delicious meals slash victory victorious battles I've had. So I'm pleasantly surprised that you're also an enemy eater, Colonel. Maybe next time we can tag team a boar demon and make a meal of it, if you know what I mean. Whoa, you're not exactly sure what Dahlia means, but she could be asking Woo. you on a date or asking you to bang on top of a bang on top of a dead pig demon. Either way, it's a win. Uh, Either way, oh yeah. God, I had no idea what I was committing to there. <laughs> you went way harder. You went way harder than I did. And you're voicing, <laughs> then you're you putting yourself in a situation where you're voicing three characters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I need a second. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll, I'll, my, I'll do it. I'll do it next time. I'm tired. No, okay, <laughs> sure, sure. It's my, my, yeah, they, it's you, fine. My voice all, is fine. Just my breathing apparatus is. They all have like, shouty ow. voices. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. Uh, we can. This game is, is very. I have a lot of fun. This game has very emotive characters all around. <laughs> yeah, Monster Camp really brings it up a notch. Uh, anyway, I guess I'm going to do upper left, right? Upper like, left, right? to the Mothman? Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. Do Click. Uh, I feel like me. this should be Colonel because he was a moth in our other game, right? Yeah, let's, let, let's try and bring he, the, he also the moth from the other game for that reason. Yeah, I think so. Why, hello there, bud. Come to right by the firelight, uh, the firelight as well. I'm writing a letter home to my parents. They've asked so many questions about them. Exhausting answering them all. Have you been brushing your antennae every day? Are you getting enough clothing fibers in your diet? Has Bud heard any hot goss lately? And would she be so kind as to dish? <laughs> well, <clears throat> narrator. I wouldn't, go, I wouldn't want to be rude and not answer them, would I? I don't suppose you know of anything I could write home about. Damn, all your parents asked you about is if you had enough pairs of socks. If it's gossip Mr. and Mrs. Man wants, it's gossip they'll get. Hello, player to strike with gossip skills. Oh, damn. Yep, this is what it was last uh, time. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry, I forgot. You forgot uh, Keith's about already the taken goss? a couple of L's, so... I guess I should go for Colonel so as not to screw him over? What happens if I choose myself? Uh, Do I get a stat bonus? Well, I think the gossip can go good or bad, maybe. 
Oh. Okay. This is whose um, life were you gambling with? Uh, have you heard that have an your extremely... stats are the are lower than they need to be. If I, I don't know right. what the stat requirements are. Oh, none of us do. Okay. We've all, we have like zero successes in this game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, Colonel Keith, which one of you feels like you need a chance at Keith. higher stats? Keith, I Keith needs a chance at higher stats. Okay. Keith, I'll gossip wow. on you. He, I'm so evil. I am so evil. Choose oh. one. Sublime Wait, you got molecular sublime? thick moist. <laughs> You got Ew. sublime and moist. You go you got good things. <laughs> yeah, sublime and thick are both good. I don't moist know about molecular well. or moist. <laughs> mm. uh, let me see your stats again. <laughs> what do you want? Would be good for you. I thought you, I thought I was trapping Keith in a in a what, point of no return. Which was a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hubris. My heart says thick, so there you go. <laughs> It's bad for cholesterol. The common cold, a uh, hamster who's oh. a trained assassin, an origami knife, and the power of God in anime. Oh, the power of God in anime. And then a word. Try type something, something bigger than a seagull. <laughs> big Two seagull. Seagulls. Is it a thick <laughs> seagull? <laughs> yeah, big seagull. Oh. Or that, yeah. I thought you said thick seagull. Uh, that's basically what I said. <laughs> wow! So many salacious details. My mother is going to blush straight through her fuzz. I can't yeah. wait to tell everyone in my family all about your story, bud. Thanks. Like tossing a breadcrumb to a flock of ravenous pigeons, your friends immediately devour and circulate your rumor. Like, Who the fuck oh. are you? <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> That is a cool design. <laughs> Holy shit! Did you hear that Keith was in a gang? Yes, yeah, you. I'm serious. The guy was allegedly super fearsome, and they called themselves the Thick Crocodiles. I heard that Keith was the leader, Thick Mike, the Wear Crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Keith met wow. the leader, Thick Mike, the croc Wear Crocodile, at a seedy dive bar on the outskirts of town. Keith saw Thick Mike's gang tattoo of a seagull eating a thick seagull and started <laughs> asking Mike all about the gang. <laughs> thick Mike wasn't That's just gonna so let Keith join the spot on the spot, however. There was <laughs> Thick Mike. Wow. There was apparently some pretty rigorous <laughs> challenges to overcome first. Keith had to prank a cop, steal two gallons of blood from the cop, and even dry hump a red light. But none of that stuff compared to the final challenge. Keith had to fight Thick Mike himself using only the power of God and anime. Keith won the battle, and he was in the gang for a long time, almost two full years. He eventually left though, because he realized that he was too badass for that crowd. But if you ever see Keith's seagull tattoo, now you know what it's for. Weird, huh? <laughs> Thick seagull. Fun? Ooh! Not boldness for being in a gang that I was too cool for? <laughs> Jesus. No. Keith's new gang reputation is in some for fun. Cool. So close to that just, the, that the voice changed uh, mid <laughs> Yeah. That's a very square. Those are some very square beers. Oh, that, those oh, are yeah. the best beers you should know. What are those? Those are, are batteries. Those? What are they? They, are, they are do those, look like gallons of fuel. I can't tell <laughs> those, if those old a, school like a pull tab tiny. beer or if it's like an entire cooler thing that has a nozzle. Like a keg? They're hard to interpret oh, drinks. <laughs> like someone's gonna get Gatorated. Yeah, because they're nice so, next to the ice chest and they're almost the size of the ice chest. Damien and Calculus are discussing something. You head over there on the off chance that it's about how desperately one of them wants to have sex with you. You're no survivor. Uh, don't, don't take it personally, Carl. I'm not saying you're stupid. I'm just saying you're super dumb when it comes to surviving in the wild. And I can help. I realize you are attempting to help. I am not offended by your baseless and untrue observations. I am merely reminding you that I am a machine and therefore not alive and therefore I do not need quote survival skills unquote. Sure, you say that now, but what about when you get lost in the woods 
and had to eat your own arm to stop yourself from eating your own dick. <laughs> Even if I did need to eat, which I don't, my arm is not made of caloric squishy meat like yours. <laughs> it would provide little nutritional value to anyone. Never talk to me again. Whoa, that's crazy. Shit, really? That's crazy. I guess that means you have to eat one of your legs, which is way less con convenient, but it still get the job done. I fear you are not grasping the real problem here. <laughs> Wait, I just remembered. My, my throat is dying a little as well. Oh my <laughs> Everyone's just struggling today. <laughs> this is the struggle sesh. I just need, I just need to, to ingest water. more, ingest more liquids. Wait, I just remembered. My my arms are made of squishy meat and flesh. And I have two of them. You only just now remembered that you have two arms? Why don't I just give you one of my arms so you can eat it if you need to? Then we'll both be safe from starvation. Damien, I... Wait, one, how does this go? Thanks, Damien. Oh, one. right. Damien won. Nature, fuck you. <laughs> Friend Damien, I appreciate the insane gesture, but I assure you this is not at all necessary and actually quite traumatizing. Too late. Let's do more water. Already got my pocket buzz saw. That, now, do you prefer red meat <laughs> or really red meat? Um, ew. Well, it's clear Damien's trying to be a good friend. You'd probably be a really bad friend if you didn't stop him from cutting his arm off. He'd be losing so much tattoo space. <laughs> the, be the best way to do that would be to propose a different survival technique Cal could utilize, but what to suggest? When you're in the wild, always utilize power saving mode. Offer to let Calculuster eat your arm instead. Uh. <laughs> uh. 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 That's fun, right? Second this sounds one. like smarts, which is my worst stat, so I'm just gonna hope. <laughs> oh wait, I was picking oh, a person, I forgot. Checks, that's right. I Fuck, I completely oh, forgot what picked... I was doing, and it worked out anyway. But, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> well, it did sound like fun. No, like smart. Wow! Yeah, because it was Ruben. Keith, you'd be willing to let Cal eat your own arm? That's so metal! Yes, it is quote metal, unquote. And so totally, totally illogical. Please do not cut off your arms. I do not even have a mouth to eat your limbs with. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, Keith, what if you cut your arm off and I cut my mouth off and we give them both to Cal? Oh dear, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Every time I make an observation, my friends want to cut more of their body parts. Is this a curse? Is this hell? In the chaos of Cal having an existential crisis and Damien waving a, waving a knife at, at his mouth, you take the initiative to hack off your arm with Damien's buzzsaw. You quickly faint from the blood loss. When you come to, you find Damien sweetly doctoring your wounds, which is almost enough to distract you from the blinding pain. Hey, noob. Oh, hey there, sleepyhead. Listen, it was really badass of you to cut your arm off for Cal. Mad respect. I am a zombie. <laughs> also bad. Sadly, Cal rejected your thoughtful gift. Ran away from a hospital or something. <laughs> As if you can rely on hospitals in the cold, unforgiving landscape of nature. <laughs> but don't worry. My throat may be dying, but I have reattached your arm so <laughs> you can save it for someone more grateful. I might have sewn it on backwards, though. My bad. Uh, oh, wait, how do you sew arm on back? Like it's up? <laughs> like, is it up? <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> what like is the hand is like poking into your. <laughs> Or so. I don't. Uh, I'm wait. Well, if you if you think of like the arm, any, like I don't like your, any of the options. With a hand, like stretch your arms out. Your hand, like f your palm, is towards the front. Now imagine it's not. Uh -huh. It's towards the back. Oh, like he didn't even attach the socket to the socket. Like he just. Yeah. No. Oh. Oh. No. I. Oh. That's not even. That doesn't even work. No, nah, you can't stay mad at that adorable, sinister smirk. Besides, having a backwards arm is small pr uh, price to pay for da uh, for Damien to like you. Uh, 